hope you can see okay. Oh dear, oh dear, I've been changing this around. I just cannot get you right on this stand. I really can't. But I was trial and error, I suppose. I got Billy with me today. Here he is. He's a lot of people's favourite, aren't you, Billy? Yeah, he knows it. He does. Just made myself a coffee. So if you haven't got one, press pause and go and get one now. A cup of tea or whatever. Mm. I'm trying. I have my, I told you, showed you the other day in my, one of my videos. Treated myself to a little coffee maker. It was my birthday and our wedding anniversary last Saturday. Um... Yeah, so I thought I'd treat myself. I'll buy a little coffee maker. You're a bit skew with there. Can't, well, it's not going to fall apart. I'll leave it like that. Um, yeah, but whether I had a bug or a bad stomach, I don't know. I was ill for all weekend, um, and Peter reckons it was because of this coffee. I don't know. So I was drinking, obviously you can buy hot chocolate pods and all sorts. So I was drinking the hot chocolate all weekend because I was ill. And when I was pregnant, I had morning sickness many years ago now. <laughs> um, so, and that's all I drank then when I had morning sickness. So I was drinking hot chocolate. So I've just got some different coffee pods, some Costa coffee. See how I am with them. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I was going to be really busy. Well, I still will be busy. I've got um, a parcel and two packages to put to put together today. Um, I've sold a couple of Virginie's doll clothes on eBay, so they've got to go. But Peter has gone off with my car. Now... So, Mel, I won't be able to post Luella to you today. I don't know what you're going to call her. At the moment, she's Luella. Um, I won't be able to post her today because I haven't got a car to get to the post office. So, hopefully, I will get up there tomorrow or Friday and get that all sorted. And, um, yeah... She can make her long journey to Canada. She can. It's a shame she can't come with anything because of postage and everything else. Because I've got loads I could send with her. But I'm sure she'll be loved and have things bought for her once she's, once she's there. So, anyway, he's gonna, Billy is going to be really hot today because I've decided to put him in this, this little outfit. I think it's Babadoo, little trousers and a top. Um, yeah, it is Babadoo, not months. I have got his clothes all over my bed. Yep, I have everywhere. Um, come on, pop it. Has it got pop poppers on? Yeah. I found. Half of one outfit and half of other outfits, but they don't marry up together. So I don't know what I've done there. So I'm going to have to sort that out today. And I was going to sort out my big row in the whole cupboard of dresses. Girls' dresses. So, but I'm not sure I'm going to get that done. I keep putting it off and putting it off. Because <laughs> I also do want to make a cake. I never got one done the other day. And um, I really do want to make one. So, um, as if I haven't had enough cake, eh? I'm supposed to be trying to lose weight for the wedding. But, as you all know, my one of my daughters is getting married in September. No, she's not. She's getting married in August. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah, all 
okay. She's actually on holiday. They went to France yesterday and I was dreading them going. They were dreading going because, I don't know whether you heard the news, all weekend there's been queues and queues of traffic for Dover and the Eurotunnel. They were going via the Eurotunnel. And um, I might just leave him in this little outfit, actually, this little... Let's see. Um, yeah, one, one family took 21 hours in a queue at the weekend to get into the Eurotunnel. 21 hours. And of course, um, my daughter and son-in-law-to-be have got four children and they are all autistic. So they don't sit still for five minutes usually. And, uh, but they left early in the morning. And by 7 a.m., they was at Eurotunnel. They just sailed through. When they got to the other side, they had, um, because uh, my son in law ought to be, um, his parents have retired over there. So they've bought a house over there, a big house. And that's where they were going to. But it's sort of non stop. It takes them seven and a half hours once they're in France to drive down. And she was saying, well, my daughter was saying, well, you know, with stops because of the children, because when she went before, they were babies and she just, they just went. And um, she said, it's going to probably take us more like 10 hours. But they had good going and they were there by 7 p.m., I would think. Yeah, I think so. So they, you know, it was pretty good going. Oh, I think I'll put him in this. Yeah. We went out yesterday. Well, I don't know. Because of the weather, you know, we had those two, well, several really hot days. And they, the really, really hot days were last Monday and Tuesday. Well, because of those, in the UK, we are not equipped. You're going to get fed up. Everyone else in hot places will get fed up of us saying this. We are not equipped for hot weather. And this proves how well, how we are not equipped. All our stores in the UK couldn't keep the stores cold enough. And they threw it away. Each store threw away thousands of pounds worth of food. They're not allowed to sell it once it starts to do, the, the freezers packing up and they're not allowed to resell on once they start. Um, and if they can't keep milk fresh and things like that, they are not allowed to sell it quick. Or Oh, so this uh, health and safety have got so many laws here and um, they threw away loads and loads of food i mean they might as well have said to everybody in the store help yourself really um somebody on f oh no where was i peter said it was peter told me somebody he knows was saying they was in the store and they were just emptying the shelves and everything and throwing it criminal really criminal in the uk we have starving people I mean, starving people, literally, and people that live on the streets and all sorts, and they don't get any help. And um, it's just criminal. People live on food banks here. I suppose they do all around the world, I don't know, but... Oh, look at that colour on him. Isn't that gorgeous? Really nice. Oh. Yeah, so... When we got my shopping on Thursday, delivered. Every time I was looking for it online, it wasn't available, not available, not available. And it was because of this, you know, that what had happened a couple of days previous. So consequently, we didn't have a lot of shopping on Thursday. There was no alternatives, there was nothing, because it was all gone, there was nothing there. Um, so... Oh, I don't like this brush, it's too hard, but I couldn't find my other one. Uh, there we go, pop it. Um, 
Yeah, so yesterday we went out. We went to a little farm shop and uh, bought loads of meat. Yeah, so, uh, well, we've been out a few weeks before. I told you it's all free range. It's a free range butchers. And um, we bought a massive pack of bacon that I divided all up in freezer bags and froze yesterday. I've got sausages that are in the bottom of the fridge. I've got to divide those up and freeze when I can find room in my freezer, which I have to rearrange today. Um, what did we buy? We didn't buy any cooked meat. Um, we bought loads of pork the other week that Pete sliced up and froze. Ah. Oh. I don't know what we bought. We ended up paying, we ended up spending £27, over £27 in there. And then, of course, we had to come to a, go to a little shop on the way home to buy bread and milk. You know, all the basic things. And spent another tenner in there. So, because we couldn't get it all in one shop, you end up spending more. But never mind, we've got shopping coming again tomorrow, so hopefully I won't have to put much on there to, you know, when I do the list later. Oh, there he is, little Billy. Yeah, so no car today, no car. Um, I want to get some more little things maybe put on eBay, uh, some more clothes. I've got boxes of them, boxes of Swerginese clothes, doll clothes to go. Oh. Not making much money on those, sort of a tenner here and there, but it all helps, doesn't it? Oh. Here we go. Oh, he's so lovely, this little one. So you can see, you can see my coat hanging up there. I don't know why that's there. I should have put it out of view, shouldn't I? Never mind. Never mind. Right. I think that's all about all of I got to say today. I expecting a lot of noise from the builders. They haven't made it. They've been quite quiet. They did take the roof off. What they're doing yesterday the first day i thought they was going to make a noise and they didn't they was doing electrics i didn't even think they were there um so i got my little fan ready just in case i've got a big one as well in the other room i put on peter's not here so i can put that one on but uh yeah, so they took the roof off yesterday, so today, I don't know whether they're going to knock it down today, I don't know. Seems to be taking a long time, just for a few little bits, eh? Never mind. Right, I'm going to go. Do some washing, do some cooking. I've got to clear up my kitchen, clear up all these baby bits I put all over my bed, sort out. The parcels and packages I've got to send off. And that's it. Hopefully. Got my DVD came the other day that I wanted to watch. The, um, the last Fantastic Beasts one. Uh, Secrets of Dumbledore or something like that. And uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed. It might be one of those films that I have to watch a couple of times. Because the first Fantastic Beasts, I didn't like at all until I watched it a couple of times. But this one was very dark at first. You know, where it's really where they film nighttime. Don't you just hate that? And you're squinting to see what's going on. I pulled the blinds down, but it didn't make any difference. So I don't know. We'll have to give that a go again sometime, won't we? Yeah. All right, I'll see you all soon. If I don't get back before next week, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You might go fishing Friday again. 
as he's used my petrol in my car. He might decide to go fishing again. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, stay safe. I hope you're all well. Bye-bye.